Hello, my friends. Um, always, if you can see me and hear me, let me know. I'm going to share the hutch in our living room and how I use um, the thrift store items that I'm sharing that I'm finding uh, and how I decorate with them for the holidays. So uh, <clears throat> I usually share this and I kind of have it all together right now. So I'll just kind of show you what what I did and kind of explain it. So I'm going to flip you around here. So this is the hutch that is always in our um, our living room. My mom refinished this hutch. It's so funny because if you guys saw my post about the um, oven cleaner, uh, <laughs> the oven cleaner thing, she's like, "Are you are you kidding me?" My mom used to refinish pieces and like so like she would strip them down and. I remember sitting in the backyard with her as she would do that for like weeks. And so this is a piece that she did. And so I, I'm like, she's like the oven cleaner. You worked that, that easily. Um, and we're hoping that she's gonna, she's gonna behave. But so this is where I always like to start. I always like to start here in this hutch when I'm decorating because it's a small space. It's, it's easily, you know, you can, you don't have to do a ton of things to change it up. And then you kind of feel motivated to do the rest of the house. Um, that box of records is usually is usually not right there. Okay, um, so I'm gonna show you I all of this. Sorry, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. <clears throat> all of this is, I'm just making sure before I say that, is thrifted, except for these two Iron Deer came in the steel, steel It box from Decor Steels. I shared that with you guys. And the wood trees were from Walmart last year. Um, Oh, and that, I think that tray was from uh, like a decor box too. But other than that, everything in here is thrifted. So I shared, um, you guys, I love silver trays. And I found these, this one, this was my favorite one. And then I found another one that's kind of like a meat platter. And then I found a, like a round circular one that was on a base. So I had this in my shop, which is over on Instagram at my creative days shop. I will be launching new items tomorrow, um, <clears throat> but this was in my shop and it didn't sell. So I was so excited because I knew I found these. I have a link for these candles because I did find them. So let me know if you need it, but you guys, this thing, they're amazing. You you just, sorry, I got my, I had a doctor's appointment. and um, So you can do them as a light. You can do them as a candle, which is what I love. Um. And then you can make them lighter, darker, or dimmer, all that. You can set like two hours, six hours. I love these things. And I found these are the smaller ones. There are bigger, like round, more fatter uh, candles, but I really like them. So anyway, so this tray didn't, didn't sell. And so I, I grabbed it and then I put it together. This is just greenery from outside and then the orange slices um, I did not dry my own. I found a bag of these at Home Goods, but I have bought them on Amazon as well. But check your Home Goods because these were on clearance. Because some of the stuff there were Apple things in there too for fall, so it was uh, they were on clearance. Um, okay, so always old clocks. I always pick up old clocks. You can use them all year round. Ironstone pitchers, and I have an obsession right now with candles, like. I, I pick them up if they're really pretty colors. Um, and I love like the off-white candles. <clears throat> I have some smaller ones here. I just like candles, um, but they're not, yeah, I mean, you got to watch them, right? So they're not, <laughs> but anyway, so I just shoved some of the ones that I recently found inside that, that pitcher. And then these are some mercury glass, not vintage, but just mercury glass trees. And then I just have an architectural piece that we recently found there. And then Gabrielle's watercolor, um, she's she's just amazing. So I just set that wreath in there. And then these, I always pick these up as well, especially in this color. I have some really dark brown ones that I think I might be um, getting rid of, but I love this color. So I always pick these up and, oh, that all fell apart. These will get dry. <laughs> so put water in them, but um, you can just put any, throughout the year, um, I'm just watching to make sure she's not getting up and gonna, um, but anyway, so I have another one up here. So I just, I love those. This book, I always get asked, are you going to sell that book? Are you going to get rid of that book? I can't remember where we found it. Um, 
I mean, it was a yard sale or a thrift store. And then these brass, uh, they're like, what am I trying to say? They're like a book holder or a picture frame holder. Look for these in your thrift stores. There was a time when I was finding them every time I went in there. This one is the biggest one I have ever found. But again, they just look, you know, for Christmas or fall or, you know, all year round, you can put cookbooks in them. You can, um, you could just put pictures in them. You can put your daughter's artwork in them. I just love those. So, um, but so anyway, so I love picking these up and then any of the ironstone that I find and you don't have to, this is just, again, greenery from the yard. Um, and I do have some birch. I shared a reel for this. I do have some birch little logs that you can, if you have them in your yard, great. Otherwise, Dollar Tree sells them, little bags of them. And then the brass horns, uh, candlestick holders. I love those. I've had those inside my shop as well. And Hilly, Hilly, come here. And then I love these candles. You know, the, those are just back there. It's really pretty at night in here because we do have, Hilly. Okay. We do have the twinkle lights all throughout here too. And you guys, this box was also in my shop and I'm kind of glad it didn't sell too. <laughs> so I love picking up, um, you know, I, I pick up things that I love and having a shop now um, is just, it's just so much fun. It's like double the fun, but this has an old leather strap and it's got compartments. I think there are six, not eight, but I love the, like the dovetail corners. And then it does have some, it's not on that side. Like the letters, you can see them are still there. But again, just shoved it with greenery. And then I found these wood scoops at a thrift store, a bag of them. Some big ones, some small ones. So I just threw those in there. And I recently shared, <clears throat> this was the Ironstone teapot. I shared the story about this. I about died <laughs> when I found that. Oh, these are trees from Target. The, the little, they had them a few years ago. Okay, you stay on the, she likes to get underneath the couch. So that's a good place. I did find these huge pine cones. These were at a thrift store. And then again, anything like these ironstone pitchers, I will always pick them up. And I did find, I did share these. Look at these glass ornaments. Aren't they unbelievable? So I did, I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy. I did put them in here and then we did put some twinkle lights in the greenery there so that when they turn on, you can see the lights coming through these ornaments. I think there were one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there were six and they're different kind of shapes and sizes, but oh my gosh, this was kind of at a charity shop that I found these. I actually want to go back there um, soon because I was really, <laughs> I was really, yeah, I hadn't been there in so long and they really had, oh my gosh, as I break it, right? Um, they had a ton of stuff for the holidays. These I just found in an antique store. Aren't they like, I just love bells and old brass bells. I've had these, not these, but um, other ones inside my shop. But anytime I find brass bells, I'm picking them up. And these were down in the basement and they were having like a sale on everything in the basement. So those were, those were a good find. And then here's just another, this is not ironstone, but I loved the color and the simplicity of it. And then these three garden cloches, is that how you say it? I always second guess it. Um, I just recently found those and just stuck some trees underneath them, small trees and a, one of the brass clocks that I have. And then this is actually to hold books. So it's supposed to be flipped the other way. Let me just move this. So it's supposed to be when you set it down on this, so like this would be the stand. And then these, you know, they fold under here. But then you can hold books, you know what I mean, just on that. But I didn't see it like that at all. Actually, when I picked it up, I'm like, what is this thing? But as soon as I picked it up and those things folded down, I'm like, oh, it's a shelf for inside on a shelf or a riser. So that's what I've always used it as. It's perfect for that because it just, so then you can kind of do two layers of decorating here, you know, instead of just having one shelf. So if you can ever add a riser, <clears throat> Um, definitely do that. And a riser can be anything, especially wherever your eye level is. So I, up there in our dining room, um, I, you can't see certain things. So, I mean, I've used old books or whatever as risers, but it just kind of gives you an extra, what am I trying to, like just an extra level to decorate and just, uh, makes it 
just an extra space to decorate. So it's not just all one level, if that makes sense. Um, that's just, I got these, that tree at a, in a bag of stuff at a thrift store. And then I love this brass um, magnifying glass. I also got that at a thrift store. So that is the hutch that I promised I would share. This is, like I said, where I usually start. And I always get asked, does this stay open or shut? It's always shut. Um, so we, uh, I just have to show you this. So um, that's where she likes to be. Pretty soon she's not going to be able to fit in there. But I'm happy she's there. So let's just, okay, let's just do the whole thing here. <laughs> So this is actually a basket of things that are thrifted finds. Um, some coasters that the kids just, they do use them, but then they just threw them in there. I actually, I love this basket. Do you all look for baskets at your thrift stores? Because if you aren't um, looking for them, you definitely should be. Because that's like one of my favorite aisles at the thrift store. They're just amazing. And here's another one of those jugs. So... Um, again, spring, summer, fall, Christmas, you know, you can just, you know, add those in there. These are actually, add anything in there is what I was going to say. These were actually, I should have bought more of them, but when I shared them, I want to say, I'm going to say three years ago, I did a project with them. I found them at Target and they, they were like sold out very quickly, but they, I love them. And ornaments, you don't just have to hang them in the tree. There were some here, these, these guys too. They're kind of like a fatter version, but I just, I love them. Obviously, pine cones. This is um, felt garland. Walmart. I shared when I was at Walmart, you guys, all of the garlands, the wood bead garlands, the felt garlands they have. I'm just going to mess this up just so you can, <laughs> that's okay. Um, they have all of that. Our Walmart, as soon, I mean, our Walmart only had like the black garland left after I shared that. So obviously... You want to buy them sooner than later. And their prices, I think, are the best uh, that you'll find. So definitely check out the wood bead garland and the felt garland at your Walmart right like right now. Um, this must have been tied on something last year um, because they those will sell out fast. And you guys, always Scrabble tiles. And I do have some, it's banana gram, right, tiles in here as well because I love the ivory so this is what I mean when I say I always have a bowl or something of the Scrabble tiles. And so it's so funny because the other day I put, um, so the Iowa State Cyclone football game was going to be on. And I said something like Iowa State, or I can't remember if they, I said something like they lost or the score. I can't remember what it was and it hadn't been. So then Landon, and I just put it here, like I just made a word, something, I can't, and then, um, or three words, and then Landon came in and he's like, they won or something or like, and so it's just kind of a fun, an impromptu Scrabble game that's always going on. It starts like it's, you can do jokes or like, like I, I was kind of just jabbing fun at the Cyclone football team and um, they're not doing very good. And, um, and so anyway, so it was just kind of, we laughed about it, but then it's just, it's just kind of a, you know, sometimes it's hard, especially when the kids get older and they're just in so much, it's hard to have everybody sit down you know, and play a full hour or two hour game, depending on what you're playing. Monopoly is, oh my gosh, it takes way too long. So it's just hard. But then this, if you just have some Scrabble, you can just do it whenever, you know, on their way to school, they can, they will sometimes add to the, to the words and stuff. So that's why I love, and I love the way they look. I, I love the way they look just like in a glass vase or, um, or in like something like that. So over here, I made these. You guys saw me make these, so check the video for these super simple Dollar Tree items to make these candy canes. Um, and then these were these were from actually it was uh, they were hearth and hand, but it was like weeks and weeks after Christmas, and they were just sitting on a shelf and didn't even have a price tag, like didn't even have like a Target tag. And so I just walked up and they're like, "Oh, just I think I got them for a dollar, two dollars." I mean. Obviously, it was like the last thing left. And so, who remembers this big guy? <laughs> I recently just found that Ironstone um, piece, and it was full of fall stuff. And <clears throat> I almost missed it. 
And so the fall stuff was huge. I mean, it came up to like here and it was, that's all you noticed. But then I was like, is this, could this be? And it really was. I about, I bought another one of my favorite finds. Here's what I mean by bells. So these I will always pick up. I just, I have tied like twine on them and made them into garlands. Um, I have a bunch of them just hung on this right here. Um, one of these might be in the shop tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, so I just, I love the way the brass bells look, especially at the holidays. Just more pine cones again. I found them. Ironstone bowl. I recently just found these for 50 cents. They're like glass. They look all old. And um, these were at that charity shop as well. Again, I just put some greenery in there. This is a garland or a piece I found at a thrift store that I cut up and just set in here, pine cones. And then I put this old lantern I found at a thrift store and I just threw some Scrabble tiles in there for, for um, Christmas. And it would be, I don't know if I can get, could get one all in here. It would be really cool to put one of those uh, remote candles in the middle of there too because you could always turn it on and off. I found the, I wish I could find more of these. Or somebody just, I wish I could just make these. I found these at a thrift store as well. Not during the Christmas season, but those, I another favorite find. I just love those. I just love simple, I don't know, just simple holiday stuff. Another basket, thrift store, always look. This was a restore find. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a peg system. It's got holes all along it. The wood is just in, like, it's got the best patina. The holes aren't perfect, like they're not perfect across. So who, you know what I mean? They're just kind of, <laughs> I love that. I love that. <clears throat> this was an estate sale find and we went like when it was 90% off. So I think that was like five bucks. It might've been three bucks for that old mirror. Brass candlesticks, we'll always pick those up as well. And then this guy, I think he was homemade. Um, <clears throat> I can't do this with one hand, but basically you can, like open this up, like you can do this like all the way across and then it could be like really big. Uh, the wood is, it's really cool, but I just like it flat like this, um, especially on a shelf because it wouldn't fit then up there. But that was a thrift store find as well. Um, What else can I show you? Is there anything else? Do you guys have any questions? I will always pick up little stools uh, at a thrift store as well loved that one. That was at a yard sale. Um, and then everybody, this table right here, um, my mom, every time she comes in here, I love that table. Like, are you getting rid of that table? <laughs> and my mom, <clears throat> she gets first dibs on anything I'm getting rid of, of course, but I have not wanted to get rid of this table yet. And this is the best part. So I found this at a thrift store and I was just, you know, looking at it, making sure it was okay and stable. And then I'm like, well, it's not together here. Can Matt fix? Like, what is that? You guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's got a built-in ashtray. Can use it as a coaster now, but just makes that it even, I mean, I just love that even more then. So <clears throat> thrift store basket, of course, thrift store basket. Um, and here is another thing. I should have opened the front door so it's lighter in here, but I was just planning on sharing the hutch. This mantle, has, has anybody been here long enough to know how much I got this mantle for? $2.99. It didn't look like that. I've painted it twice now, but it was $2.99. Another white pitcher with just um, these in just like just some greenery. And I love these <clears throat> big lights. Let me see. That are just kind of hanging, you know, not perfect, uh, but they're just the big light bulbs. I had two of these and Matt broke one this year. Um, but this is a huge brass horn <clears throat> that uh, I think I found that last year. But like, look at the, look at the, like the, oh, <laughs> the character just on old Crocs and stuff. I just, I love them. Okay, I'm gonna keep going if you guys are okay with this. I will show you where, this is where, I do not have all my Santa mugs in here, but I get asked about them. So this is where I put them and how I put them this year. 
I have so many more downstairs. I shouldn't say so many. I don't know how many I have, but I knew I couldn't get them all out in here. But this, I used, again, another one of these racks. Look for these in your thrift stores because I think I have three right now hung in our house. And they're just, they look good as is or to hang things from. Um, but again, everything in here was thrifted or, um, I'm thinking... Everything in here was thrifted except, I can't remember where I got that mug rack. And these white Santa mugs were at Walmart um, two years ago, I think. But yeah, everything else is thrifted. So that's where these guys are. And then I found these last year, these little Santa like napkin rings. Um, yeah, and the last mug I found I just found him this past weekend at a little shop Matt and I stopped at. Uh, so he was my, oh, and then look at here. So I just shared how we made this, this whole, we made this kind of like a sign. And then somebody said, you could put photos of um, family members in here. You could do like motiv motivational quotes that are your favorite. And there's so many things you could do with this, but these were, I found these at Target a few years ago. They're just place card holders. They are they were individual, obviously, um, and they were on clearance after the season. And so I said, Matt, let's put those together, and then it can hold, you know, one whole thing or different things, and it kind of looks like a village, kind of. And I said these would be really cute if you use like a white uh, paint marker and made them look like gingerbread houses, or you could, I mean, if you were really, <laughs> you could, you know, do one side one thing and then. I'm just, I don't trust myself enough. And I like them the way they looked. So, so far, that's how they're staying. But look, I don't know if I shared it here or on Instagram. I found an entire bag of these, like within the last two weeks at my local thrift store. So when people say, I can't find any, I, I'm just always looking. And um, if you guys signed up for the giveaway, the 25 days of giveaways we're doing, um, some of these will be coming to one of you um, in as part of one of those giveaways. But yeah, I couldn't, I about, I <laughs> was so excited. So I do love these glass Christmas trees. Um, so I just have a few of those. You try to like fill these with candy and like different things for, you know, photos and things. And then my husband and they go pretty fast. I've got to get photos done quick. So, Okay. How can we sign up? Okay, Angie, there should be, you can look back on the feed um, on Facebook and there should be, oh, that was another thing I was going to tell you. There should be, we've been posting it every day, um, many times a day. So there should be a link for it there or um, I can get you a link or message me for the link if you can't find it. Um, but you still have through all of next week, you just have to sign up for each one um, separately. But after you've signed up once, you're all done. Um, but every day for 25 days, we're giving away something different. And I have some, some of my favorite companies and brands are sponsoring some of them and sending you guys some amazing things. So make sure you check it out. This is a piece that I recently just got and it has been at a thrift store for, oh, like over a month. So maybe six weeks. And it really wasn't, I look, the color's beautiful. The, um, the hardware was horrible. The back, you can just, it's, you just know it's an old piece. And then we went in there like one weekend, maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I don't know. It was 75% off. So I'm like, let's go ahead and snag that. And it fits perfectly right here. So, um, check your thrift stores. I'm telling you, I hope you are all going into your, your thrift stores. I wish I could go to all of your thrift stores with you. Um, it's just so much fun. And you can find things, and you don't find things every time. Uh, definitely not every time. So um, people think that I do every single time, and not at all. I walk out of there many times without anything. So, um, okay, I'm going to go through your questions and comments. Tell me, is there anything else I can show you? Angie Champagne, they don't sell well in my booth. What? Which booth are you? Or I mean, not which booth. What, what were you talking about? What doesn't sell well? I'm turning this around. Whoa, my ponytail fell out while I was doing this. I have an old clock that was my mom's, which makes it. Yes, if they're like your mom's or your grandma's or 
I love that. Okay, I'll switch it around. It says, what's hanging off the accordion hooks? Um, are you talking about these? They are just bells. I found a bag of these bells um, at a thrift store. And they did have this rope on. I, I don't think these are old by any means. They just look old. They have that patina. So that is, I think, if that's what you mean. Otherwise, it would be in the living room or the dining room. And that is my Santa mugs. Risers, Judith, they are the best thing. They are just the best thing. Okay. I'm just going to go through these and see if... Love baskets and those little spindles remind me of the dreidel. Oh, are the... Is... I don't know if this is what you mean or... I love watching you decorate. I watched last year decorating for Christmas. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I put it all together and then I thought I'd just kind of show you what I love brass bells too. Oh my gosh, I will always pick them up. Thank you, Susan. New Mexico, hello. Do I have a wreath to show you? Um, I do have, I'll try to do this slow. Gabrielle was making me some, um, what are they called? nutcrackers on there and then the marker ran out I just have some plain these were from the dollar section at Target last year the year before um, I didn't like the way they were so I just added my own ribbon which you can't see very well because the front door is not open um, I do have a wreath on my front door I wish my thrift store had cool stuff like this okay is it Lindsay oh my gosh I've never seen so I'm Lindsay spelled l-i-n-d-s-a-y lindsay i've never seen that or, or do you pronounce it lindsay oh my gosh i love that i've never seen that before can i see your tree yes debbie so this so this year you guys i really i we got the light well if you <laughs> saw my stories um it was i think it was no lights lights no lights lights like that's how they worked so we had to add more lights to it but once we got the lights on and then I actually, I put the oranges back in it this year because I just love that. And then I found, these were called German, I wish I had the thing out, German tinsel. That's what they're called, German tinsel. Found them at the thrift store. They are like the most chintzy metal ever. <laughs> but I found a like a, a can of them at the thrift store and I just put them in there. Um, so super simple. I just, I just, like that Scandinavian Christmas, if you guys go to Pinterest and just, there's just something about that where it's like just greenery and a candle or, you know, um, oh, candles. Angie, are you saying candles don't sell well in your shop? Maybe I'm getting people. The contest, Jennifer, so some of the, it, there are items inside our 25 days of giveaways that is not, that's things that we aren't sending. They're more digital things. So those are open to everybody. Yeah, the bells. Okay. Can I see the tree? Yes, I should. Um, I'm just going through this. Oh, candles don't sell well. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because I love those. I haven't, I just found a package of white ones. They were actually from Home Goods, but they were kind of fatter. And I'm like, oh, I just, they were at, they were brand new from Home Goods at the thrift store. So the orange slices, last year I just used um, like a twine or a skinny string, but this, I didn't love it. I didn't like the way it looked. So I literally have just set them in there. And it, it's funny because Matt is all about, um, like he would, I mean, there's something, oh, and then look, he would love, he loves colored lights and he loves, but the other night it was, it was at night and he was sitting in the living room and he's like, those orange slices really do look good with the white lights. Cause it, they just kind of, it kind of glows. And so I just kind of set them in everywhere. Um, and then I did share these icicle lights. I love them. They were under $5. I should still have that link if you need it, but we put those up there as well. I think I shared that in my stories. 
but you could use whatever you wanted, Debbie, for the orange slices. I would say go with a, I kind of had a twine, which was a thinner twine. See, I just, look at that. It looks, the camera's doing something weird with it, but um, like a twine color. Do you know what I mean by, like this? It was like this, but thinner. Um, and I just, it kind of, that's all you saw in there, if that makes sense. So I would use a like clear fishing string or um, fishing, you don't call that string, do you? Where are my fishermen at? <laughs> but you know what I mean? Or like a really skinny string. That's what I would do. So then you just don't, you just don't see that. It, do, it takes away from it. And I've thought about maybe adding something up here, but um, um, but I haven't done anything yet. So getting a new, yes, fishing line, Angie. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. That's what it is. Fishing line. Oh my gosh, Debbie, is it your first time using them? Orange slices on Reese. And I did it last year and I said, why have I not been doing this? Why have I not been doing this? I just, I loved it so much. And that's why, and I added them here in this tray. Um, and I tried to look for some on Amazon the other day and I couldn't find a good selection, uh, but it will um, definitely check like your home goods and stuff and TJ Maxx if you have them. Debbie, yes, Debbie, you're going to be hooked. It's So is it Rochelle? Did you make the orange slices? How do you make them? So I did not make these. I did find these. So these were all um, part of a like a bag of stuff at Home Goods. They were on clearance because they were con technically fall. Um, but I have seen you just slice up your oranges, and I think it's on like a low oven for, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure a few hours to get them all dried out. Uh, has anybody ever done their own oranges? Here, that's here right now. So the candles, I just saw something about the, so the candles I'm talking about are just, I just love, I just love candles. <laughs> There's just certain things that you'll find so they're just candlesticks that, um, and these are, maybe that was a question. These are like the faux candles that have the remote um, like this. So you can, you know, have a timer, you can dim them. Um, but like these candles, like the green and that orange and anything cream colored instead of stark white, I just love. And so I always pick those up. You will find once you're thrifting and like, like, I will never pass up, I mean, unless it's a kajillion dollars, I will never pass up a good wood box, ever, 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 or Ironstone, or, you know, like the brass bells, or, you know, th those kinds of things, like the baskets. If there is a good basket and it is not atrocious, like, I meaning price, I will always pick them up. I will, because you can use them for so many things. Hello, where is this? Nora Jones, um, I am in Iowa. She bought, okay, Debbie bought her orange slices on Etsy. I wouldn't even think to look there. That's a good, thank you, Debbie. Yes, dry them in the oven. They come, came out beautiful. Okay, did you, how did you do it? Life on Cade Ross Creek? How did you do them? Did you, what is behind the tray? Let me show you what's behind the tray. This is something else that I will never not pick up. <laughs> These architectural, set them on the iPads here. Uh, these pieces, I will always, always pick those up as well. Again, if they're not super expensive. Yes, Lynn, thanks for that question. If there's something you guys need to see or a question, let me know. Yes, we're wondering what temp and for how long for the orange slices. Hello in Canada. Love wood, little wood boxes, but don't know how to decorate with them. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be hard. It really doesn't have to be hard. So it depends on what I need them need. Now that's probably not the word, <laughs> but like here, I mean, I just shoved in some greenery. Um, obviously you could put candles in here, the, the plain or the faux candles and the scoops, but like, I really thought I would use this for a hot cocoa station because it's got the different compartments inside there. So you could fill it with, obviously I would have put in, um, you know, containers 
that fit inside here and you could put, you know, your marshmallows or your hot cocoa mixes and your, you know, like if you had to-go cups and then spoons in the back or um, they're perfect caddies for like a, a parties, beverage stations, um, you know, for forks, knives, spoons, napkins, those kinds of things. So they're, they're also functional, so which, which I love. It's like baskets, trays, wood boxes. They're functional as well as pretty. So I love, um, since, since lay them on parchment paper and bake them at 250 degrees, I believe, for how long? Slice them, lay them on parchment paper and bake them at 250. I thought it was a low oven and it's probably a few hours, I would think, to get them. Okay. Okay, does anybody have any other, uh, yeah, did you just Google it? Google drying and most say 200 degrees for at least two hours. I, I bet you, yep. And be sure to watch so they don't burn. Thank you, Sarah. Hutch looks amazing. Stoneware is my favorite. Yes, yeah, stoneware. Do you mean like the iron stone and the, yeah, I just, you can use it uh, for so many things. I need to pick up my mess right there, but um. Okay, does anybody have any other questions or is there something that you didn't see that I shared? Uh, maybe I can do our lower room another day. It's not really done, done, but. So here is, like, here's another way, this basket here. It's, if it's a good basket, I'm gonna pick it up and I just filled it with pine cones. I kind of put the felt ball garland in there, thrift store chair, um, but 200 degrees for three to six hours, Jennifer. Okay, wow. Yeah, I would think you would need to make sure all that orange stuff is like out of there and totally dried. It would have to be Chandra. The large pitcher, this one? Or are you talking, I'm trying not to make you dizzy. Sorry. Are you talking about this one? Please tell me. Um, this is more of like a pot. It's an ironstone I, I say it's like a vase. My mom's like, I think those were waste pots or whatever. Like, um, let me know if these are the ones you're asking to see. Just found a great ironstone chamber pot going to a Christmas market on Friday, putting a rosemary plant in it to sell. Great idea, Sarah. That's a great idea. Dry them with a paper towel before you put them in the oven and then flip them every 45 to 60 minutes. You guys are amazing. Okay, dry them with a paper towel on the mantle, yes. Let's go over to the mantle. Thank you for clarifying. I'd... So this is just, I just have some, these are just picks. Um, I should open the, so these are just those green. And again, I found these on, these I found on clearance actually at our grocery store <laughs> many years ago after the holidays. I can't remember if they were 50 cents a pick or what, but, um, and so, It'd be cute to put some twinkle lights in here too, but I just like these big lights over this. So Jennifer, I would say yes, because the package of the oranges that I got here, they had apples, limes, apples, limes, and maybe lemons inside there as well, dried. Um, and so, so I guess that was more fall. So that's where they were on clearance. I just used the oranges, but yes, I would think so. You could do all of those. The grapefruit would be really good because they're so much bigger. They would make a statement for sure. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything for now. If there's something else, um, oh, you do have the same picture? Yeah, I just, anything, I just, yeah, I love them. If there's anything else, if you're watching it on replay, let me know you were here. Um, Keep watching here on Facebook. If you're over on Instagram as well, I just shared one of um, an, a shop that we stopped in over in stories. It should be coming to Facebook as well, but I never know if that works. So um, over on Instagram, we we went into like a junk shop, antique shop. It's one of the, our favorites, but we don't get there very often. So lots of cool stuff there. Um, but if you have any other questions, if you're watching it on replay, let me know. Just put hashtag replay in the comments. I know you were here. If you have any other questions, if there's something else I can show you, um, if you're interested in, I can show you the lower half. Um, I've just been keeping things simple of our room, maybe another day. But, um, and yeah, keep watching. I'm sharing reels and stories and projects and um, all the time. So I love that you guys are here and I appreciate you. 
appreciate you. And um, yeah, so, and it's Thanksgiving week. I still have a hard time saying, <laughs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, really, it does not seem right. I don't know what it is. A new dog, I don't know. I just think I'm all out of sorts. So it just seems a little weird that it's Thanksgiving already on Thursday, so... Okay, guys, I'm going to hop off. I'll stop chatting, and um, I will talk to you guys hopefully very soon.